You gotta know a day. Today, we're going to talk about linear momentum, sometimes called mass in motion. Actually, this is going to be part one, because uh, I really want to get into uh, some of the math, um, and the, the what's used most in physics, and then the, the second part of the video, um, second video actually, is going to be more of the obscure stuff. Um, momentum itself is... Uh, has, relates to mass and velocity. It's proportional to both of them. It has units of kilograms and meters per second. That's it. Kilograms, meters per second. It's a silly unit. But what this means is that the more massive you are, the more momentum you have, and the faster you're moving, the more you, momentum you have. It's really useful to figure out your momentum, especially in terms of collisions because momentum is conserved in all collisions the momentum going in is going to be the momentum coming out uh, and that is for elastic collisions like this one where objects collide and bounce off of each other and it's also true for inelastic collisions and this one is I think the least intuitive but basically if something uh, collides with something and sticks um, then the momentum is absolutely still going to be conserved. That's an inelastic um, collision. Um, there's also a, a connection to Newton's second law. I like asking about this. Um, so momentum is just mass times uh, velocity. Um, and if you figure out how momentum um, is going to change with time, uh, essentially, more specifically, because if you have a constant mass, we're going to be looking at how the velocity changes with time. That's um, largely the definition of the derivative with respect to time of velocity. So how velocity changes with time, or the derivative of um, velocity with respect to time, is acceleration. So really, force is the derivative of momentum, um, which is that force equals mass times acceleration. There's Newton's second law. Uh, so really, a clue they like to ask about is the time derivative of momentum is force. Uh, there's also something that relates to uh, momentum as well called impulse. Uh, impulse is essentially force exerted over a time. That's the impulse on something. Um, so a good way to think about it is with a, um, a boxer, right? Getting punched. So if you have, if you ride a punch, like you essentially move with the punch, you increase the amount of time that that force is in contact with your face. And as such, your face is going to feel less force. Whereas if you don't, you just take the punch full on um, and don't move your face with it. That's a short amount of time that the punch is in your face. You get a big amount of force. Um, impulse, uh, this you know, force over a time, is going to be equal to your change in momentum. So that's the change in momentum for one, one object. Um, it, it really comes from... Um, if you look at mass times change in velocity over time, um, this is really just uh, another Newton's second law. But if you multiply that time over, you get a quantity called impulse, uh, letter J, and it's equal to how much your momentum changes, um, and that's, that's impulse. And there's even a connection to kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is how much energy you, you have due to moving. So we see here that things with more kinetic energy are going to be moving more. Um, and that's in relation to potential energy, which is just the storage of energy due to your position. Um, so in this, another instance, we have a, a bow and arrow. If you pull back a bow and arrow, it's not moving, but there's definitely energy there that when released gets converted into kinetic energy because the arrow moves. Well, the equation for kinetic energy is one half the mass times the velocity squared. The most important part of kinetic energy is this velocity part. Um, but it also relates to the mass of the object. Well, 
because momentum, again, remember, is the mass times velocity, we can look at this and realize that momentum times velocity over 2 is kinetic energy. Um, we replace one of the, the m and one of the v's with momentum, we have this. And also, if we divide by m, we get momentum squared over 2m is the kinetic energy. Sometimes they ask questions uh, relating kinetic energy to this quantity. And this is how it is. Momentum times v over 2 um, is your kinetic energy.